right, when you beat chapter two, obviously it takes you right back into Garrett's hangout. And we're just going to go ahead and get into this cutscene real quick. Before I jump back into the city, we've just unlocked a whole new part of the map. And I'm totally going to get right into that. I wanted to go ahead and knock this side mission out of the way. We already saw it in the walkthrough. So I went into it and I played around with it. And it's not really that difficult and it doesn't take very long. So I figured I'd go ahead and get it out of the way and then we'd jump right back into the city. And Garrett, obviously now, is public enemy number one. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to that vendor. When you beat chapter two, you unlock the razor tool, which we've been needing. So I'm going to go back and get those paintings, too, that I couldn't get. But you also unlock the wire cutters, which is a big deal. So, I'm going to go back to the vendor, grab all that stuff. Beware all black hands. From this day forward, any citizen caught thieving will be hanged. By the and obviously replenish all my arrows, too. That's kind of a big deal. Nothing then we're going to jump right back into the city. city. Basil catching wind of it. He says it's a gift in my line of work. I'm inclined to agree. Okay, so we're back out into the street and we got these guys staring at us. <laughs> these pedestrians that just stare at you forever. And right back in here. This side mission, like I said, it's actually pretty easy if you just take the time to run around. There's only one part of it that's kind of tricky. And there's our first seconds. guard. If you look You're behind him, see the broken need. glass. One, two. I'm moving, sir. I'm moving. So we don't want to trip over that on the way sneaking up behind this guy. Basically, you have four thieving challenges. One, you have to remain undetected. We have to pick five pockets, which we're about to do right here. You only have to get one knockdown or kill. And obviously we have to take all the loot. Okay, so there you go. We just took out one of them right there. That's absolutely nothing at all. This guy, you want to get out of the way, though. Because this room, and don't forget this item right here. This room in here, we have to remain undetected. And there's three guys in this room. This is the only part of this client job that's a little tricky we have to get all these guys separated from each other because we can't let anybody see us just opening the door arouses their suspicion so this is the way I do it anyway dive back into the shadow this guy comes to inspect and get up behind him as quick as you can he turns his back to you and he'll only stand there for so long it's just long enough to pickpocket him and knock him out now the tailors in here and there's another guard next to him this guard will just stand there forever if you don't get him moving. So I take a bottle. Yeah. And on the way back around the house, there is another place over here that's got... I'm going to throw that bottle back up since I just used one. There's a piece of loot in here. I throw the bottle to the left because if you throw it to the right, see how this back entrance doesn't have a door? That's where that guy will be standing when we come into the back of this house. Now we wanted to get the guy moving, so he is doing a thorough inspection of the house, open the door, and he'll be upstairs in a minute, and it gives us plenty of time to loot this room. Hide him over here, got a document on the same table, and we now have the razor tool. We could have did this client job before, but we couldn't have done all the thieving challenges because we didn't have that tool. And there's the guard. Yeah. So I'm going to wait for him in here. I've tried before to follow him into the other room, but he doesn't stay stationary long enough for you to pickpocket him and knock him out. So I just wait for him. And there we go. He comes into this room and he gives you all the time in the world. Alright, and there we go. There's only two people left in this house that we have to worry about. Neither of which are any kind of problem. Now, out in the hallway, there's earrings. 
And we got a room over here. There's a few things in here. Got a hand mirror, one item in the drawer underneath. There's a fireplace over to the left. And I really like this old-fashioned piano music that they play in the back. And of course, there's always got to be something. You got to pick the lock in in the room. But there's a collectible in this drawer, so that's a big deal. Now, apparently, <laughs> Fine piece. Uh, this house only has one bathroom, and it's located in the upstairs bedroom, so <laughs> that's kind of weird. But there's two items up in this room, and now we can head back downstairs. Now, the tailor is absolutely no threat, and that's the way out. You can see the door's still open. Uh, we'll come back and loot this room in a minute, but I want to go ahead and get rid of this guy since his back's to us. Now, the item we came down here to steal for Hector is in the basement. This is the only part... This is kind of a trip. There aren't very many shadows down here to hide in. But we want this guy first, and there we go. That's it. We've already beaten the staying, undetec staying undetected thieving challenge. Got a document on one side of this table, and there's another item on the other side. Right behind us in the wall safe is what we came here to steal in the first place. Now, if you're not going for thieving challenges, and you just want to run through this mission, and you know where this item is in the wall safe, this will take you all of five minutes. Just to get through this house, get down here, knock that guy out, steal this, and get back out. Sorry, Afonso. This hand has modeled its last glove. So this very first client job is actually really, really easy. The only tricky part is staying undetected. Got an item there, and not in that drawer, but this drawer. Now, there's a barrel behind us, and there's a barrel on the way back out the door. All right. So, we can go back upstairs, loot that last room, and we've done everything. Uh, this desk over here, got an item there, got a document next to it. Also some items in the desk. There's like a little end table over on the left side that I ran through this. The only thing that was tripping me out, I'd get to the end and I was missing one item. And it wasn't the one on this shelf, it was the one in this little end table over here. For whatever reason, it just took me three or four run-throughs of this. That was the one I was missing. But everything else is pretty easy. And it's the middle drawer. And we've done it. We've beaten all the thieving challenges. That's everything there is to do. And the way to get out is the same way we came in. Very, very cool. Let's just check. Yep, remain undetected. Five pockets, one killer knockdown, and all the loot. This one, I actually only ran through this maybe five or six times, maybe seven. And now all we have to do is go back to Ector and bring his mechanical hand back. And he's not even that far away. If you remember this part of the map, you just go around here. There's some crates around the side. They take you right back to his shop. This is a cool little side mission. Again, not difficult at all. It's just staying undetected is the trip. You have the three guys that are in that one room. You just have to separate them and get up behind them and knock them out without them seeing you. But you're also going for coin purses. What's up, Hector? Ah, you again. Always a pleasure. It's done. Here's your friend's hand. Ah, fantastic. Here's your payment, Master Thief. You've earned it. I'll be tied up with work for a while. Return later, would you? My metal man's still missing something. Alright, so, the very next video, I'm gonna go ahead and end this right here. We're gonna get right back into the city, to the part that we just unlocked when we beat Chapter 2. Thank you guys so much for watching.